Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, we have a good old-fashioned Christmas candle haul from Kringle Candle. I have the mercury glass jar candles that came in. I have a three wick. I actually have one fall candle and I have two new reserve candles launching tomorrow, Thursday, October 19th. So I think we'll start with a candle haul first and then we will get into the two new reserve candles launching. So without further ado, Let's get into it. As I like to start off every Kringle Candle Haul, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador. And what that means is I am able to give you a discount code, my viewers, which is DrewYawk15. And you guys can save 15% off your purchase of Kringle Candles when you purchase through me. Now, it is an affiliate code. I do get a commission from your purchases. But the reason why I'm a Kringle Candle Ambassador is because I love the brand so much. If you're not familiar, Kringle Candle is owned by Mick Kittridge, who is the son of Michael Kittridge, who is the founder of Yankee Candle. Yankee Candle has since been sold, but Mick had such a passion for home fragrance and candles that he decided to launch his own line with his father, who has since passed away. But now Mick is the CEO and founder of Kringle Candle, and they are famous for these guys. They're 100% soy wax candles. Now, they went through some phases where I was not a huge fan of the paraffin, but they have since phased that out. And these guys are perfection. So these are the two wick 100% soy tumblers from Kringle. They burn flawlessly from top to bottom with minimal trimming. And these candles, I can burn for like 10 hours at a time. Yeah, it's not recommended, but you can do that without any issues. No fragrance oils burning off, no wick drippings getting in the wax, just perfection. And I feel confident giving you guys a coupon code and purchasing anything from Kringle. I stand behind them. I love their jars and I love their fragrances and I love their burns. And the thing is, they have since reiterated so or ha, ugh, brain fart there. We have they have created a different iterations of the candles. They have the reserve line, which now have a translucent black jar. So whenever they burn, oh my god, I can already smell this. It's incredible, and that will burn down, and you'll actually be able to see the flame. They're a little bit more elevated, so. These guys are 31 and these guys are 34, but they're more elevated fragrances. They're more beautiful. They're more complex. I love them. They have other sizes, but my favorite size are the three wick 100% soy. They're just a lot stronger. They look just like your traditional Bath and Body Works 14.5 ounce three wick candle. Spoiler alert, this is a Christmas candle. I was very excited to pick up. But they also, which I'm most excited about in this video, introduced a mercury glass line. Now, this was introduced in a very small amount last year. I actually did not pick any up last year, but this year I knew I had to pick them up. I actually picked up five, four fragrances, but five candles. So, all right, let's start with the non-Christmas candle that I picked up, and that is pumpkin waffles. All right. Look at this label. You have two, or is it one? Oh, it looks like it's just one big decadent Belgian waffle covered in syrup. Looks like a nice hunk of butter, some pumpkin spices, and then that pumpkin in the background there. And I have the description. Pumpkin Waffles is a sweet, woody fragrance inspired by a delicious morning breakfast of sweet pumpkin waffles with warm maple syrup. <sighs> If you're familiar with Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, this is better. This is not a dupe. This, to me, is a lot more mellow. It's not as punch you in the face, syrupy, sticky, sweet as the Bath & Body Works one is. Now, I have not burned this, but I'm confident that with the Kringle Burns, you're not going to have that issue like you have with Bath & Body Works candles where the flames fizzle out halfway. They start to turn brown and murky and start to smell like burnt. The pumpkin pecan waffles candle is especially known to get really burnt smelling halfway through that I just stick them in the candle crock. So I am going to burn this this season to see if 
that doesn't happen. And fingers, toes, and eyes crossed that it does not happen with this one. It's perfection. It's beautiful. I only picked it up in the two-wick, but it is available in the medium two-wick. The daylight, which are like their um, jumbo tea lights, they're a great way if you want to sample a fragrance without melting it. And then it's also available in the wax melts, which are like a traditional clamshell. And this is actually on sale right now as a fall candle sale for $10 off. So I believe you cannot use my ambassador code with it. Don't quote me on that, but this is $10 off right now. So you can snatch it up for $21. So I did pick that up. And then I picked up Let's just do this one because I was so excited about it. This is Christmas Cake Pops. Now, something that's super unique about the Kringle Three Wick Candles is it's actually a design that's painted on the jars. They use a special machine that paints these designs on the jars so they are not going to scratch off. They're not going to peel off. They are on this jar for life. So super fun. You have all the different colors of cake pops and flavors. You have a fun gold lid. Hello. And you have a three wick. Now, I did watch Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom review this candle. And honestly, it just made me more excited for it because the notes read cake batter, sugared citrus, candied sprinkles, swirls of butter, and vanilla frosting. Now, the three wicks do have the scent descriptions on the bottom. The single wick, oh, the two wicks, the mercury glass do, but the reserves and the classics do not. So I don't know if that's something they're working on, but right now, just the specialty ones do. And uh, this smells like a lemon pound cake. It definitely smells like a citrus cake. You're definitely getting the citrus and you're definitely getting that buttery cake frosting note, like that bakery note. But why that was really exciting for me is because I have a very small hint of time. And actually, I think I was watching Hannah Blazon from Sensi talk about this. And I've talked about it too. I get really sick of tree scents really fast. Like there's like the week of Christmas that I really enjoy tree scents and then I'm done. So I really don't buy a lot of Christmas tree fragrances. Like I'm going to get the brick of very snowy spruce. I have one Christmassy candle that I'm very excited about on a Mr. Kong's mom recommendation. And then I'm over them. So in January, I find it very challenging on what I want to melt because I'm ready for those lighter fragrances, but I'm not ready for spring. So this lemon cake is going to be perfect for January. So I'm going to tuck this away and burn this in January because it has that citrusy, I'm getting mostly lemon and buttery cake frosting note that I'm really, really excited to tuck this away for January. So we have Christmas cake pops here. It is available in the large jars as well in the Kringles, but I opted for the three wick because I'm excited and I just loved the way that it looked. All right, let's move on to the mercury glass jars, you guys. And I picked up two of these guys. So let's talk about how beautiful these are. If you're not familiar with mercury glass, it is just the way a glass is made. These are beautiful. Look at all the silver texture in there. So whenever you burn these jars, it's going to flicker and glow and just be beautiful. And I can already see once these are done, putting like a flameless candle in here or a real flame candle, like a tea light or something, so you can still get that mercury glass effect once it gets low and repurpose these jars. Not only did I purchase these for a specific reason, one, I wanted the smell. I wanted to see how beautiful they were. Like, look at the red and the green together. Hello, Christmas. But, and I'm going to insert a video or a picture here. Bath & Body Works came out with these ornament three-wick candle holders. Now, I know the three-wick and these are pretty much the same width, maybe a little smaller. But the Kringle candles do fit really well in Bath & Body Works candle holders, and they came out with a red and a green ornament stacked on top of each other. Like I said, I'm going to put, put a picture here or there. It is online, and it is in store, and I am picking up two of them for my dining room table this year. I think it's going to be beautiful, and I'm going to put one green candle on one and one red on the other, and when they're lit, 
It's just going to be perfection. It's going to be so cozy Christmas holiday, and I'm just very excited. I think it's going to be perfection. So if you like crinkle candles or if you still like the Bath & Body Works three wet candles, you can put them there and you can use that. And I think it's going to be a great holiday candle holder. But anyway, I picked up two of these on a Mr. Kong's Mom recommendation, and this is Wishing for Christmas. Now, this is a little out of my element. It is cookies, vanilla, sugarcane, and pine because I don't love pine, but I love sugar cookie. And let me tell you, this is magic. This is beautiful. This, to me, is a Christmas scent. I don't like overly Christmas tree scents. So they have to have something in them than straight up balsam or pine. And this is like, okay. I don't think it's like a homemade buttery sugar cookie. I think it's more of like a slice and bake cookie, which is perfect for me, that you just cut down a fresh Christmas tree and brought it into your house. I use fake Christmas trees, but if you had a real Christmas tree in your home and you're baking those slice and bake Christmas cookies in your oven, it's capturing the essence of the holiday season. This is beautiful. And I picked up two because I kind of want to burn two together. One in one room. I'm not sure. I just needed two for sure. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. It is holiday. If you like bakery, if you like Christmas tree, definitely pick this up. And if you're like me, who doesn't love Christmas tree, still try this because those bakery notes are shining through a lot more. And the pine is in the background. as just like a light holiday essence to the Christmas cookie. So thank you, Melanie, a.k.a. Mr. Kong's mom here on YouTube for the recommendation. It's perfection. So excited for that one. I picked up a red, a red jar in Christmas. Now, I will say... Some of these are available on the website, not in the mercury glass. So if you just want the fragrances and don't really care about the jar, I know that the Wishing for Christmas is in a country candle, which are more of like the traditional Yankee apothecary style jar. You definitely can try it that way. It's in a red wax, but I just love the mercury. So this Christmas, Siberian fir needles, cedarwood, musk, sandalwood. Okay. This is really pretty. It does lean Christmas tree, like that Siberian fir needles. However, the blend with the cedar wood and the musk really just makes this like a quintessential holiday fragrance. You get that cool Christmas in the air. You get that light Christmas tree. This is totally one I could see myself burning on Christmas Day because it does, does just resemble the holidays. It's Christmassy. It's bright. It's warm. It's really pretty. So if you like traditional Christmas and like Siberian fur needle fragrances, definitely try that one. Now this one is Merry Christmas. So this one's just Christmas red. This is Merry Christmas. And this has notes of cinnamon spice, cinnamon bark, bay leaves, sweet, and woody. So right down there, we have the red jar. This is strong. I don't know why I picked this up, to be honest, because this is not in my wheelhouse. This is definitely, like, red hot cinnamon with that bay leaf. I definitely get, like, that really rich bay leaf spice note, which is super interesting. It's definitely throwing it off for me. But I do get that traditional, like, red hot cinnamon, which is interesting. It's good. I think this will be a nice one for me to burn while I have, like, a vanilla bean buttercream or a sugar cookie melting in my warmers to tone down the cinnamon, and then only burning this one, like either in my dining room or on like my coffee table. So as I walk around, it's just an essence of cinnamon spice in the air. I'll definitely burn it. It's my least favorite out of all of them that I purchased, but I'm not a red hot cinnamon fan. If you are a fan of that red hot cinnamon, definitely try that. And that is a traditional Christmas fragrance. I picked up one of the silver mercury jars. The only one that I didn't pick up color-wise was the blue, because blue just isn't really Christmassy to me. I know some people decorate with Christmas blue. Just everybody's different. I like red, green, and silver, or white. And I picked this up 
in Fireplace. I love smoky, woodsy, fiery scents, so I was very excited for this one. This is Smokewood Spice Herbal Amber and Vetiver. Now, I do have the notes on this one pulled up on my computer. It says, there's no place like home for the holidays. Cozy up to the intoxicating medley of warm hickory smoke, black birch, and fresh oak embellished with golden hints of ambered patchouli. This is beautiful. You totally get hickory. Totally get hickory wood. Like that smoked, I want to say meaty, but it's not like a beef stick. But you know hickory wood, like roasted meat, you have that hickory smell. That really, almost a sweet wood fragrance. It's really pretty. As far as black birch, I definitely pick up on birch. Not really sure the difference between a black birch and a white birch. I love white birch fragrances, so I do really enjoy this. And oak wood, it is, if you like woody, embery, really warm fire fragrances, I think you really enjoy this. This is totally a cozy up by the fire. This is a really ice cold day, frost on the windows. You're in your PJs and your slippers and you have no desire to leave the house. You're putting on a really nice comfort movie. For me, it's Home Alone. I love to laugh. I love comedies. And Home Alone is just a classic set, a, just a classic movie that whenever I watch it, this is what I picture burning because it just has that warm, cozy fireplace fragrance. So really impressed with this. I don't have a mantle, but if I did, I would burn this on the mantle because it would just set the mood with the fireplace. So I picked that one up. All right, now let's move on to, and those are all available. Everything I showed you is still available as I'm filming this on um, October 17th. This will be going up on the 18th, but as I'm filming this, all of these are still available, and I will link Kringle down below. Now, I love my Kringle Reserve Candles. They're definitely my favorite line from Kringle. They are launching two candles tomorrow, October 19th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. These are beautiful. I, as an ambassador, was able to pre-order these, and I did pay for them. I did get a discount, but I did pay for them. And we have... Christmas lights. Now, something that I love about the Kringle Reserve line is that it is an all-black jar, and whatever photo is in front just pops. So would you look at this beautiful Christmas tree? It's like they decorated the tree, but then removed the tree background, so you're just left with the Christmas lights. So pretty with that silver foiled K in the middle. So traditional. How beautiful will this be burning as a centerpiece on your table? The notes on Christmas lights. Holiday pine, juniper, cypress sprigs, eucalyptus leaf, cranberry, red apple, fir needle, sweet sap, fresh cedarwood, oak moss, oak moss, and white moss. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. This is a another traditional Christmas fragrance. I'm really getting those fruity notes, probably because I just really like fruity scents to begin with, so it's really coming forward. The cranberry and the apple. I'm picking up the cedar wood. That juniper and cypress are more of a, like a sweet berry wood note. Really, really pretty. I think if you like traditional fragrances that are Christmas, you'll like this. But if you want a little bit more of a fruity twist to a Christmas fragrance, I think you would also really like this. This is just beautiful. I love, love, and I don't love tree scents. But again, I iterate, they have to be blended with a lot of other things and the tree note cannot be forward for me to love it. And I really like this. And the name Christmas Lights, maybe it's just because it's marketed that way, but it's like you drive through those. There's a couple places here that if you drive through them, you can see all the beautiful Christmas lights. This is like what I picture that to smell like. Just beautiful, crisp snow outside. The lights are on. Everybody's bundled up in their coats and scarves. I say you're sipping hot cocoa, but there's no hot cocoa note in here. Beautiful. Now... This is what I was most excited about. 
Christmas pop. Oh, peppermint pop, not Christmas pop, peppermint pop. Look at that whimsical peppermint lollipop. I mean, come on. Can it get any more festive than this red and white beautiful Christmas peppermint pop? Obsessed. Now, the notes on this read, fresh mint, sweet spice, fennel, verdant, alpine violet, snow gum, cool peppermint, and sweet nectar. Interesting notes. This is nice. Okay. This smells like a light peppermint frost. Like if you're eating a peppermint ice cream, you get that coolness in the back of your throat when you smell it, but it's not choke you out. You know how certain peppermint candles you smell and you're like, whoa. Like if I leave it here, I can smell it in the whole room. This isn't like it. It's a subtle peppermint. Fennel, which can kind of come across like licorice -y. I don't really see. Sweet nectar, fresh mint, and cool peppermint. It's interesting because when I think fresh mint, obviously like the green leaves, when I think of cool peppermint, you think of like a peppermint candy. It's like the fresh mint and the cool peppermint are balancing each other out. So the fresh mint is calming down that sharp peppermint, but the cool sharp peppermint is telling the fresh mint there's no like herbal green note in there or like that making it more of a spring fresh garden candle. I think they're playing with each other beautifully in here. And if you like peppermint fragrances, if you're a peppermint connoisseur, I think you would really like this. If you don't love peppermint, I think you would really enjoy this, maybe in small doses, but all those other sweet notes are really calming down the peppermint to make this more of like a peppermint candy versus a peppermint, like a peppermint toothpaste, if that makes any sense. Because I've smelled some peppermints and I think they come across as toothpaste. This does not. This definitely is a lot more balanced and really pretty. Oh, I love. I definitely think out of everything that I have on the table, my favorites are Wishing for Christmas from the Mercury Glass and this Peppermint Pop. These, if you were only buying two candles when this launches, these are the two that I think I would recommend most. If you still want your fall, pumpkin waffles is great. If you want more rich bakery, but not necessarily Christmas, Christmas cake pops is great. But I 100% think Wishing for Christmas and Peppermint Pops are the ones that you need to pick up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I did pay for all of these with my own money. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, so if you use the code TRUEYOCK15, you will save 15% off of your purchase. Again, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you guys. Bye.